I have to argue with one more person about this Javon Evans booking, do you realize that Javon Evans winning this opening battle royal did over 800,000 viewers? That seems high. And 90 minutes later, they pinned him. <laughs> yeah, I know the ratings are good for the show. All I've heard is people in NXT defending this, and it's reminding me so much of this Who Killed WCW. It pains me. It gives me no hope for the future of this business. Brian, Brian and VD, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes in an I Quit match. Crowd is singing that AJ is a wanker. It's always funny. AJ gets in Mama Rhodes' face, and she very loudly calls him an asshole. I laughed, because women, old women cursing is funny. When he literally choked him unconscious, and the referee explains, he didn't say I quit, therefore the match continues. I was like, we have now jumped the shark with drama, because that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. I have choked him out. He has not said I quit, so therefore I do not technically win. I'm not going to grab a bottle of water and immediately wake him up. I'm going to, at the very least, like duct tape him, bind him so that when he does wake up, he can't fight back. I might mutilate him, get some kind of sharp weapon and start lopping off limbs so when he revives, he's helpless. I'm not going to pour a bottle of water on him. Wake him up. I do not have I quit match with Finny. There is a hot tag to Jade. And yes, everyone, she immediately fucked up a springboard. But you know what? As Michael Cole himself put it, quote, she recovered beautifully. And goddamn, she recovered beautifully. Triple H said they didn't win the titles because Alba's mother passed away. Drew's not winning. Spoiler. Piper's not winning. Also spoiler. And so if they didn't win, you would have had all of these hometown stars all losing. And so when I thought about it, I thought, you know what? I'll bet he's telling the truth. I'll bet they figured we got to put somebody over here. Earlier, they had a song about how AJ Styles is a wanker. In this match, they had a song about Chad Gable being a wanker, but it was a totally different song. The they, Scots have multiple wanking songs ready to yes, drop. Yes, of course. They have to go. multiple wanker songs. You kidding me? They're very well prepared. This crowd was fantastic. Maybe not as fantastic as France. I thought very, France was better, but... Uh, very, very close. Sean said that he thought this was better than France. Really? I think he's wrong. I do as well. But this was a great crowd. I knew two things going in. I watched this like Sunday afternoon, way over 24 hours after the show happened. Obviously, I knew the finish, and I knew Damian Priest got his leg caught in the ropes. It was very, very scary. I heard that uh, he may have just been selling the entire time. Obviously, it was an accident. Like, they didn't mean to have that happen. But, I mean, he may be totally fine. Two Clash of the Castle shows. Drew McIntyre has failed in the main events of both of them. His national people here, his actual homeland of Scotland. In the 1990s, we had the, the, the guy in this company. He always lost the big matches with the total package Lex Luger. Mm. I think we just call this guy now the, the, the total haggis, Drew McIntyre. Well, here's the thing. You know, this thing sold a lot of tickets for a lot of money. And I think everybody figured, well, he lost once before. They're not going to do it again. And then they did it again. And the fans were furious. I mean, there were bullshit chants. Have you ever seen a ghost? Stan Kozak says, yes. <laughs> I was in Vegas one night. Oh, I was hoping that was it. <laughs> got up to go to the bathroom and was encountered by an entity. Very hard to describe, but definitely a surreal experience. Let me tell you something. I can't tell you I've seen a ghost, but I have had some surreal experiences in Las Vegas bathrooms. That's for sure. With entities. And there were entities there, yes. Unidentifiable entities. All right, Granny, that was pretty good. What do we got today? Uh, just a minute. Maybe next week we'll have to talk about, ask about UFOs, and whether anyone has visited Atlantis. <laughs> I want to hear that one. I got a lot of them. Have you ever vanished in the Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> Has anything ever probed you? And then woke up in World War II, <laughs> fell asleep again, you're back in the present. Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sikoa, or whatever his last name is. Paul, Paul Newman is watching this match. <laughs> and he's not Excuse on me? Cody's side. <laughs> What's the matter? Absolutely nothing. Everything's no. great. You know, Cody did say that he was looking for a manager. I think him and Paul Newman would be a... <laughs> what a handsome pair. Yeah. 
A dashing duo. That guy's a movie star, isn't he? MJF versus Roosh. Awesome. These guys hate each other. Had a big-ass fight. Full of rage and violence and piss and vinegar. Obviously, MJF versus Roosh would have been a much better Forbidden Door match. But we can't do it. As a wrestling fan, I cannot wait to see MJF versus Echi Sarah. That's going to be awesome. With that said, your biggest draw is wrestling Hechi Sero on Forbidden Door. This is a match that wouldn't even make collision. And then this maniac, this absolute fucking maniac, does his promo. The fucking crowd is howling with laughter. The guys involved can't keep a straight face. This was ama- This man is a national treasure. A national treasure. Swerve starts to bring up Will's wife and son. Will gets right in his face, makes it very clear this is strike two, there will not be a strike three. Great, great, great stuff. These guys are stars. I would go as far as to say I think this might have been the best Swerve Strickland promo he's ever cut in AW. So Max's mic gets cut off during his rap. He can't rap now. We cut to Okada on the screen. He intentionally does a parody of a Japanese stereotype. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm so sorry, bitch. (laughs) And everyone laughs because Okada calling people bitches is always funny. Find me somebody... That hates Okada. Nobody. They all love him. They cheer him. It doesn't matter what he does. It doesn't matter who he does it to. They just cheer him and cheer him and cheer him and cheer him. He's out here doing comedy. They're cheering him. This is a top heel group for fuck's sake. I have no idea why this guy's a heel. If you want to hear my entire argument as to why should be Will Ospreay winning the title in Wembley, you can listen to today's Observer Live I laid the entire thing out. I think that's what they should do. I know people think it's just a simplistic thing, but it's actually not. I'm not just saying it because it seems like something to do. I'm saying it because I think there's a reason it needs to be done this year and not wait. So that's all in Observer Live today if you want to go listen to it. Here's a lesson I can give you about luchadors I learned when I was in Mexico. As Corazon de Leon, one of the biggest stars in the country, there's a move called the Dreaded Martinet. It's a pile driver. When someone tried to use that on me, I said, that doesn't work for me, brother. Thanks, guys. How can people not be entertained by this? I I, I don't even get it. I don't Like, people get mad at us like we're some sort of shills or I don't even know what. I think it's funny. This was fucking hilarious. It makes me laugh. Yes. But I thought this was uh, a very, very good show. Not, Not quite as good as last week, but this was another one of those shows where, you know, the, the booking was was solid. They set stuff up in matches. They uh, built up stuff for the future. If I have to argue with one more person about this Javon Evans booking, I was so fucking mad. Do you realize that Javon Evans winning this opening battle royal did over 800,000 viewers? That seems high. And 90 minutes later, they pinned him. (laughs) And I have heard every fucking explanation. All I have heard is people in NXT defending this. And it's reminding me so much of this fucking who killed WCW. It's okay to fuck up and say, you know what? We fucked up. Let's try and fix it. But they fucked up last week. And this week they doubled down on it. And yeah, I know the ratings are good for the show. But like, it's this is the same shit that we saw Vince do over and over. And people hated it. And for reasons I can't explain, we're seeing the same exact shit in front of our face. And now I got everybody and their mother defending it to me. You can't push Javon Evans. He's only 20. He just started. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck me. There's literally no logical explanation for this bullshit trash booking of Javon Evans. And the more people try to defend it, the more angry I get. It pains me. It gives me no hope for the fucking future of this business. If people are spouting out this shit like whatever, God. In his NXT debut, Joe Hendry. I don't know if you can count the number of ovations this loud I've heard on on, on one hand. People went crazy for Joe Hendry. Crazy. Crazy. This promo was awesome. This was an absolute A-plus home run promo. He was a star here. He's the first guy of 25 eliminated. You know how many geeks were in this battle royal? A few. And he was the fucking first guy out. Yes. Right from there, I was already irritated. And Ethan takes over. He grabs this young man. And he lifts him in the air for the ego's edge. And he throws, throws him forward. Slams him into the mat. 
And then he pinned him. <laughs> He's won the Battle Royal in his main eventing and still can't pin anyone. The idea is, well, I don't think they have faith in Trick and Javon having a singles match. Yeah. Which is fucking stupid, by the way, because I've seen... I've seen people way worse than these two have singles matches, and it's fine. You just choreograph it for a long time or whatever. But they they want Ethan in there to, like, help him through a match. I thought the show, like, the booking sucked. Just flat out sucked on this show. Whatever their excuse is, I don't care. I think it sucks. 